as long as we know, humans have been fascinated by what we can build. Our quest to build better has come to define entire eras of history. There was the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, and then came steel. Steel is the most commonly used metal in the world. It has critical applications in all sectors of the economy, including transportation, manufacturing, and construction. Steel products last for generations. They are 100% recyclable, and they offer the highest strength to weight ratio of any building material available. In the 1800s, a Frenchman named Joseph Louis Lambeau discovered that adding thin steel bars to concrete can greatly increase the strength of concrete structures. This discovery of using steel rebar transformed the human capacity to build and to dream. Since then, reinforced concrete has proved to be the standard of solid construction anywhere in the world, enabling us to build higher and larger. But for over a hundred years, the actual process of making steel largely stayed the same. Blowing pure oxygen into a blast furnace to react with molten iron. That is, until the invention of the electric arc furnace. Electric arc furnaces, or EAFs, are not only more efficient, they're also better for the environment. Using up to 100% steel scrap and recycling it into new steel. The Italian Daniele Group uses EAF in its Mita technology, transforming raw material into rebar in a span of just two hours. This technology can only be coined as a disruptive technology. Disruptive technologies come once every 50 years, once every 100 years. Mita plants take up less than half the space of other facilities, saving millions of dollars in capital deployment. Imagine one kilowatt hour saving multiply with 500 ton. That means that each year from one installation, 500,000 ton, thousand kilowatt hour. You know what that means? The total saving you can install another city enough to serve 50,000 people. Operators around the world feel that the benefits of Mita resemble the legend of King Midas where everything he touched turned to gold. In the United States, there's a company called CMC. So in 2010, they started this technology as the founders of this technology. And today, they have more than six of these plants, over a million tons of manufacturing. NIDA itself can increase the material yield of a steel billet up to 0.99. Imagine that, 0.99. And imagine that uh, help us to achieve availability 7,000 hours per year. You know, this plant came into Egyptian steel. Now, Egyptian steel was not doing much steel, but they started this project in 2016, and today they have two, and they're also doing above a million tons. This revolutionary innovation not only reduces the cost and time of production, but also improves the quality of rebar produced. With a yield of 99%. And it is coming to Pakistan. Pakistan remains amongst the lowest per capita consumers of steel in the region and the world, with a massive growth potential and a massive business opportunity. Our steel consumption per capita just grows by 10 kg per capita, meaning we go from 38 to 48, which is very uh, achievable and, and, and can easily be achieved within five years or so. Uh, that means that your demand for steel, steel would increase by 2.2 million tons. For the first time in Asia, Aga Steel is introducing an endless steel technology Mita plant with direct rolling and bundling capacity. The increase in steel production because of this Mita plant will have a direct impact on Pakistan's current account deficit, providing valuable import substitution to the tune of 90 billion rupees every year. Efficiency in the steelmaking sector is critical to Pakistan's future growth and has immense implications for large-scale manufacturing and construction industries. When people ask, where is the most innovative plant? Where is the most innovation that's happening in the steel industry? It is our dream and it will be our honor as a company to say that, welcome to Pakistan. Please come to Aga Steel Industries, inshallah.